So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Let us represent quadratic function through table of values and graphs. Quadratic function in the general form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. You can replace the value of y by f of x. So this one is also a quadratic function. f of x, it is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c where it shows the polynomial equation with degree of 2. So the highest degree of the quadratic function is 2. A, B, and C are real numbers, and the value of A should not be equal to 0. In example number 1, let us identify if y equals 9 minus x squared is a quadratic function or not quadratic function. So this one, it is quadratic function. So y quadratic function? As you can see in the given, we have y, and then the highest degree is 2. How about example number 2? 3x squared plus 10x equals 0. So the highest degree is 2. So as you can see, this is quadratic. But then, let us identify if this is a quadratic function or a quadratic equation. So, tignan natin kung may y or may f of x. So, walang y, walang f of x. So, it means this given is not a quadratic function. The quadratic function must be having y or f of x. 3x squared plus 10x equals 0 is only a quadratic equation. How about example number 3? y equals 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. So the highest degree is 2, and we have the value of y. So it means this is a quadratic function. Let us identify the table of values of the quadratic function. Let us complete the table. So let us replace the value of x 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 to the given quadratic functions y equals x squared minus 11. We need to replace the value of x by 0. So that becomes y equals 0 squared minus 11. 0 times 0 is 0 minus 11. That is equal to negative 11. So the value of y, that is negative 11. So dito natin ilalagay. So what if, if the value of x equals 1? So let us replace to the formula, so that becomes 1 squared minus 11. 1 times 1, that is 1, minus 11, so y equals negative 10. So dito natin itlalagay sa tapat ng 1, yung negative 10. How about if the value of x equals 2? Let us replace to the formula for y equals x squared minus 11. So let us replace the value of x by 2. So that becomes y equals 2 squared minus 11. 2 times 2 is 4, minus 11, so y equals negative 7. So, ilalagay natin dito, that is negative 7. So, let us solve if the value of x equals 3. Let us replace to the formula, that becomes 3 squared minus 11. 3 times 3 is 9, minus 11, subtract, that is equal to negative so, ilalagay natin sa tapat ng 3, that is negative 2. Let us replace the value of x by 4 to the given equation, that is y equals x squared minus 11. The value of x is 4, so that is 4 squared minus 11. 4 times 4 is 16 minus 11, y equals 5. Ilalagay natin sa tapat ng 4, that is equal to 5. So, that these are the table of values. That the value of y are negative 11, negative 10, negative 8, negative 2, and positive 5. If we get the ordered pair, that is 0, comma, negative 11, 1, comma, negative 2, 2, comma, negative 8, 3, comma, negative 2, and then 4, comma, positive 5. How about example number 2? 
So let us replace the value of x by 0 up to 4 to the given equation y equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 3. Let us replace the value of x by 0 to the given equation. So that becomes y it is equal to 3 times 0 squared minus 2 times 0 plus 3. 3 times 0 is 0 minus 2 times 0 is 0. So 0 minus 0 is 0 plus 3. So y it is equal to 3. Ilalagay natin sa tapat ng 0 that y it is equal to 3. So what if if the value of x it is equal to 1? So let us replace. That becomes 3 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 3. 3 or rather than 1 times 1 is 1 times 3 that is 3. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. So 3 minus 2 is 1 plus 3 that is equal to 4. So the value of y it is equal to 4. Ilalagay natin sa tapat ng 1 that is equal to 4. Next, what if, if the value of x is equal to positive 2? Replace it to the given equation that becomes 3 times 2 squared minus 2 times 2 plus 3. 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 that is equal to 12. So this one is 12. Negative 2 times 2 is 4. So 12 minus 4 is 8. And then 8 plus 3 that is equal to 11. Let us replace the value of x by positive 3 to the given equation. So that becomes y, it is equal to 3, replace x by 3, and then square, copy negative 2, replace x by 3, and then plus 3. 3 times 3, that is equal to 9, times 3, that is 1, is 27. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So 27 minus 6, that is 21, plus 3, that is equal to 24. Ilalagay natin sa tapat ng 3, that is equal to 24. How about if the value of x, that is equal to 4? Let us replace to the given formula. So that becomes y, it is equal to 3, replace x by 4, and then square, copy negative 2, replace x by 4, and then plus 3. 4 times 4, this one, that is equal to 16, times 3, that is 48. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. So 48 minus 8, that is 40 plus 3. So y equals 43. So the value of y are 3, 4, 11, 24, and 43. If we get the ordered pair of this quadratic function, that is 0, 3, 1, 4, 2, 11, 3, 24, and 4, 43. What if how to identify the quadratic function if the table of values is complete? We need to identify the equal differences method. So how to identify the equal differences method? So this is a function represent a table of values having the difference of the y values. So we need to get the difference of the y values only. And then second, if the second difference of the y values are equal, then the given function is a quadratic function. If the second difference are equal, so that is quadratic function. So let us apply. So let us identify if this is a quadratic function or not quadratic function in the complete table of values. First, we need to identify kung yung value ni x, the interval is 1. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So ang interval niya 1. So right now, we can easily identify the first difference. So how to get the first difference? We can get that by subtracting from left to right. So 3 minus 8, subtract that as negative 5. Next, 8 minus 15, that is negative 7. 15 minus 24, that is negative 9. 24 minus 35, that is equal to negative 11. Afterwards, let us get the second difference. So, subtract from left to right. So, that becomes negative 5 minus negative 7. That is negative 5 plus 7. That is positive 2. Negative 7 minus negative 9. That becomes negative 7 plus 9. That is also equal to positive 2. Negative 9 minus negative 11, so that is negative 9 plus 11, that is positive 
two. The second difference are equal. So it means this one is a quadratic function. How about example number two? So let us get the first difference. So by means of subtracting from left to right, so that is 5 minus 10, that is negative 5. 10 minus 15, that is negative 5 also. 15 minus 20, that is negative 5. 20 minus 25, that is negative 5. The first difference are equal. So this one is not quadratic function. So sabi sa rule, second difference are equal, but this time, first difference only. So this one is not quadratic function. How about example number three in the table of values? This is a quadratic function or not quadratic function. Let us subtract the first difference from left to right. Pwede rin natin subtract hindi lang 1 minus 3, pwede rin 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1, that is equal to positive 2. So, kung nagsimula kay dito, from right to left, ganun din yung gagawin nyo dito. 6 minus 3, that is equal to 3. And then, 10 minus 6, that is equal to positive 4. And then, 15 minus 10, that is equal to 5. So, it depends on you kung gusto nyo yung diretsyong left to right. O pwede rin namang subtract nyo yung second by the first, third by the second. And then afterwards, after getting the first difference, let us proceed to the second difference. So from left to right, but then you can subtract 3 minus 2, that is 1. 4 minus 3, that is equal to 1. And then 5 minus 4, that is equal to 1. So ginagawa natin is subtract yung mas malaki sa madit para mas madali, mawala yung negative. Pero pwede rin isolve yan ng... 1 minus 3, pero magkakaroon ng negative. So, it depends on you kung gusto nyo mag-subtract ng 1 minus 3 or 3 minus 1. As you can see in this given, the second difference are equal. If the second difference are equal, that is quadratic function. How to identify the graphs of quadratic functions? The graph of quadratic function is parabola. The parabola that is a greater than 0, then the parabola opens upward. If a less than 0, then the parabola opens downward. So, yung makikita natin sa graph of quadratic function, it should be parabola. So, the parabola that opens upward or opens downward. Basically, a curve shape opening up or down. So, naka-open siya ng up or ng down. So, let us see in this given graph, naka-open ba siya ng up or ng down? So, naka-open siya ng up. So, it means this is a quadratic function. How about number 2? So, hindi mo malaman kung open ba ng up, down, or up. So, it means this is not a quadratic function. How about number 3? So the graph opens up or down? So the graph opens down. So it means this is a quadratic function. So let us apply what you have learned. Instruction, identify if quadratic function or not quadratic function. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.